As you may or may not be aware, this is a window screen. It goes uh, next to your window panel in your residence. And because as by the name of my channel, I live in a trailer and um, these corner brackets here, there, yes, all four are of course a proprietary size and you can't go to the store and buy uh, a new kit for this. You have to special order it and they charge you extensively for this little piece. So over time, these plastics wear out and they end up rotting out, especially if you're in a, a little bit more humid climate, which we are. Well, I'm not going to cow tip to the big corporate heads of the manufactured home community. I have a 3D printer. Okay, so we need a couple measurements. So I'm just going to roughly sketch this out. I should probably use the grids on the paper, huh? That would make more sense. So if we go here. Oh, jeez, what am I doing? So that would be that profile. And then if you look at it on like a side view, I'm pretty sure it kind of goes like this. Oh, it's so degraded. It's 15. So if it's a square, I'll change this to 15. And 15. And then we have to gingerly extract this somehow. Well, child, go out on a limb here and say it's not gonna happen. Don't you break, don't you break on me. Ah, yeah, there. all four corners. But we should be able to measure one side and it'll work for all of them. Oh, how about them apples? Oh, look at that, just super high quality stuff. Okay, so in this situation, you can just push that back in if you had to, or try and pick it out. I have a pick. So you can pick these picks up at uh, Harbor Freight or somewhere similar. Um, the Pittsburgh ones are a little cheap. You, I mean, if you can go, it's like any tool, right? You, how much you're going to use it as per how much you want to spend on it. I'll probably try and just make it like these were designed. I'll have this 100% inside. This will be 100% infill. But, that, well, the whole piece will be 100% infill. I'm getting 6.7 on this portion. So, I'm just going to continue that all the way through. This whole shebang. How does that, how does that work? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, there's... There's a greater gap on this side than this side, so that's okay. So if you watch my channel at all, I'll probably try to design this in Fusion 360. I'll probably get frustrated, and then I'll probably just go to Tinkercad. All right, let's hop into Fusion 360 here, and uh, yeah, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? All right, I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to... this plane? Sure, it looks good enough for me. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. What I'm gonna try and do here is just do a, I'll just do a box first, yeah? Maybe that's the, maybe that's the way to start. Just do a 15 millimeter. Why can't I just see two millimeters? Why do I have to create a line? It's very annoying. So why can't I see what distance this is? That's that's the super frustrating is what that is. That that see why I can't this program's way too convoluted. So I need a ref two reference lines just to do one simple operation. I'm sure there's way easier ways to do this. And I'll do a spline. Yeah, you know what? I I think that's wrong. This shouldn't be so hard. I just want to delete that. Not the whole circle, just that little portion. This is what I mean, there's just too many steps in Fusion 360, it's just unbelievably com like convoluted. Okay, yeah, we're done with this. Ain't nobody got time for that.
This is printed in PTG. Let's see, this is this a test print. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, it works. You gotta really wedge it in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Then did not see that one coming. So this needs to be recessed by whatever amount. Otherwise, I think the fit fitting of this, although it's tight, I like it a little tighter. All right, back to Tinkercad. So, filament storage update. I'm going to switch out filament. And it is August 15th, 2017. 27%. With quite a few granules left of the calcium chloride.